Hey guys, what's going on? It's Filmington, and let's talk about Black Friday. So, or Black November in general. So again, probably three, two to three years in a row where blowout cards had the strongest deals. Uh, Steel City, DA Card World, not that much. And I'm talking about this mostly from the standpoint of baseball. I don't delve too much into the other sports. Football a little bit. Um, so uh, one of the tricks or complicated things is like you see a deal that comes up in first or second week of November. So for blowout, that's like their wave one through three deals and prices haven't been this low in a while on one of these websites. Maybe eBay auctions have been running around those prices, but somebody like me, you know, I, I need a certain quantity. So I'm intrigued by being able to buy a certain amount of boxes, a certain amount of cases. And by the way, another thing that we probably won't be able to discuss, but the household or per customer limits aren't as low as they've been in the past, which is, you know, a red flag that potentially that they have a lot of this product left in their, uh, in their warehouse. Um, but anyways, so 22 Topps Chrome Jumbo, a product that hasn't been available for a $200 price point or 210, uh, was where it was at for the, the initial waves with blowout. And, you know, in your head, somebody like me, I know, I know the product, um, it was ridden with quality control issues. Uh, of course, Wanda Franco being in the product and wax prices from 2022 have already felt um, and they're a little bit lagged. So the singles got hammered in what, like August. And now we're starting to see like wax slowly come down across the board for anything 2022. And there's probably more, more um, downside in the future for a lot of these products because they haven't fully felt that entire impact of wander especially the products that are just you know it, it's really wander and they don't have j-rod or wit in them um this product though comes with the silver packs which is nice um the ability to buy cases i i, I liked that but you really should be asking yourself like okay so other than those silver packs like what's the upside for potential pulls because really you're looking at the silver pack unless you're talking about like Spencer Strider and O'Neill Cruz and pulling some, you know, low numbered autographed uh, version of what, what they have. Uh, so removing what that silver pack's worth, which is like, I don't know, 30 bucks at this point, something like that. Then you're down to 180 bucks. It's like, is that rest is the rest of that jumbo box, even though you're getting five autographs because it's last year um, dealing with all those quality control issues, a poor checklist, the ability to hit something of wander, which doesn't matter anymore. Like, is it worth it? So I guess the, it, it's an internal sort of dilemma in your head. Like, first of all, should you get it? And second of all, and this is mainly where I'm going is like, should you, are you better off waiting till later in the month to see if prices fall even more? And in this case with black Friday, they came down another 10 bucks, still not sold out. So, you know, you're wondering like, did I make the right move? But fortunately, you know, there's going to be higher conviction plays, stuff like 2018 Tops Holiday Mega Boxes, which came up, then they disappeared, and they came up again at that initial price, which was around, I think, $58 a box if you bought the case, 16 box cases, so around 900 bucks. Picked up some of those. Um, and then you've got, you know, you're, you're checking in on blowout forms to see people's reaction on certain products. And all of a sudden, you see, you see all these Japanese uh, Nippon professional baseball league products that drop that I wasn't familiar with at all. And I know the Yamamoto buzz is going to get bigger, um, allegedly, uh, because he's agreed to be part of the posting system. And it looks like he'll be signed by a major league team within the next month or two. But then it's like, well, what's his best card? You know, they've got Bowman from 2022. There's 21 tops Chrome, 22 tops Chrome, uh, which had about the same print run, I believe, um, so going to DA car world, going to all these other sites, seeing like who else has sold this stuff. There's not even active listings for this stuff on dealer net, um, for dealer to dealer. So I assume it's not printed a whole lot and you can do the math relatively easily with these products. They didn't have autographs and there were a few parallels like for Bowman, they didn't have shimmers and stuff like that. And you can just do some quick math based on the, uh, the super fractor odds to figure out how many cases uh they created and what was the print run for for base really so even with that i'm like ah, well yeah print runs low 
Um, but is it, you know, it's, it, it's a, there's two parts of the equation, right? Is there enough demand, right? To ensure that prices stay above this level because below it's clearly doing this huge dump of product, even though, you know, this product hasn't really been readily available over the last year and a half. And it's been out for a while. I'm talking about 21 tops Chrome, which is a product that I ended up going the most into, you know, what if the because this happens every time after black friday like the, the market gets flooded people are trying to you know recoup some or all of what they spent on these boxes by listing them on ebay then undercutting each other uh, my slabs has wax listings too people that want to avoid fees um, an area that i was taking a lot of advantage of uh up till when people found out that you could sell wax on there and then the competition is a little too great so now i don't use it as much for wax but yeah so it's interesting um so I ended up, I thought, buying, you know, five cases of Topps Chrome NPB, a few cases of Bowman, because they've got the firsts, not of Yamamoto, but of some other guys. And I ended up getting that right more of guessing, I think, because now I've been able to sell some of those Topps Chrome NPB boxes. And it seems like 21 Topps Chrome was the strongest deal of all those NPB products. And that's where I put most of my money, because um, those are going for about $100 a box versus the Bowman, which was about 50 a box, which based on people I've talked to, seems like the ROI opportunities are pretty good. Now, what's going to happen is you've got a guy like Rookie Sasaki, PSA 10 pop of about 35. That, I assume, will blow up, and that card will no longer be a $200 or $300 card. The Yamamoto base Bowman Chrome will no longer be a $23 card once more and more people open these things. But still, you know, you're building that into um, kind of your thesis and your expectations for how high could this wax go and with everything there's always gonna be risk it's always gonna be based on a bit of player performance there's going to be macro factors that are outside your control the most you can do is just go off the information you have at the time so i feel pretty good about that one uh and then with black friday literal black friday which was yesterday that's when we saw probably around 7 30 in the morning eastern time blowout posted probably the best deals of all and with that comes now, it's not going to be premium in-demand products that are going to be on sale, right? And as an investor of wax product, you don't really want those products, the Bowman Draft Jumbos, to go on sale like that because it shows a weakness in the market. It shows the demand's not there. It shows that breakers don't have a need for that product two, three years down the line. So what we see with these Black Friday deals is often current year hobby product that's not extremely well desired, your Heritages, your Series 1, Series 2, um, and you see retail from previous years but that can be sneaky because while dealers and dealer net in general doesn't have a huge need for retail i do and i think there's some opportunity you know i've got my multipliers based in for what's a pack of tops update retail worth versus a pack of tops update hobby worth from 2018 and I can kind of, and I like blasters, and I think of all retail products, blasters seem to be one of the strongest ones with regards to like being able to pull hits. So I got really excited at that. And this is another example where I picked up 20 boxes when it dropped to 150 for the last three or four years. 18 update has been on sale in November on a blowout. Um, I actually thought that the price of 200 was fairly strong a few months ago, but then the market dips a little bit. Otani gets injured. And those products came down, and I think auctions were averaging 160 to 180. But, you know, if I can buy high quantity, um, and if I can get them at 150, I thought that was pretty strong, and they dipped again to 100. So then I bought another, I think, three. Um, 20 blaster lots of that. Another one I really liked, 18 Bowman blasters, uh, chance for an Otani green refractor autograph. Um... And it's a product that I've been picking up, scooping for a while, kind of like 18 Update. I know the market pretty well for that product. And you have a chance for a paper uh, Otani rookie card with a pitching pose. Not the greatest card, but still gives you a little bit of that floor for the, uh, <laughs> if, you, if you're opening this stuff. With 18 Bowman Blasters, also a lot of people don't know this, but there's eight packs. After that, they started to change it to six packs. So you're getting an additional pack versus like 2019, 2020, 2021 Bowman Blasters. So I picked up uh, three 20 blaster lots of that at 85. It increased after that, like later on in the morning, Eastern time to $100 a blaster. Still pretty good. I don't know if those are still available. Um, but um, I was pretty happy with that because 
at the peak of Otani this year, right around early July, those blasters are selling for probably around 200, leveled off probably at around 185, 180. After the Otani injury, 30% dip to 135-ish. So even at 100 bucks, um, not as great as probably the lowest prices that I was paying a year ago, which was 85. But I was able to get in at 85, and I was pretty happy about that. Inter product I don't usually touch. Um, seems like just based on eBay comps um, with single boxes that buying a case of 23 uh, or 22 Ginter were attractive. So I picked up a case of 22 and then 22 Heritage High Number, um, right around $42 per box. If you locked in at that, I think it was a $500 case price, which again, it was 600 for the first few weeks in November up till that on blowout and then it dropped to 500 and for me that was enough for me to pick up a couple cases of that um looks like i might have oh yeah i don't have might have a couple boxes left <sighs> all right what else uh picked up some football stuff but didn't go crazy into anything just like small quantities of stuff i i don't really know those products that well from like an roi perspective like uh, if you were to open them or a investment potential appreciation, like I don't know what, the, what, they're, what they were selling for like three, four years ago. Um, I think that's most of what I did, but yeah, I guess the challenge is like, you know, a lot of these prices are being set by the lack of willingness on dealer net for shops online or brick and mortars that are on dealer net that have accounts to have an offer price up for that amount so offer prices kind of set that uh support line for these prices to like stay at a certain amount at least for blowout when they have high quantities of stuff so for stuff like 2018 bowman mega boxes by the way which is probably their best deal of the month um had a bunch in my cart wasn't able to get more than 10 unfortunately but that's okay i mean this is a product that i don't have as much use for but um stuff like that there were very few there might have been a couple buyers of that product on dealer net but for the most part everything else that they sold at the prices that they sold them at there is no support for buyers like tops chrome jumbo 2022 to pay those prices um and if they did then it was only for like one or two boxes and it that point is it really worth blowouts time um and there could have been some support but blowout had more quantity than they were able to sell to those initial buyers so what's happened to me with uh with blowout is often they'll fill a bunch of my pending offer prices in october and that's when i know like all right this is stuff that's probably going to go on sale for black friday all right that's it guys have a great weekend. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Take care. Filming to know.